just wanted to give you a little update what I'm doing and where I am if you're interested. Hopefully you are. Um, been seeing a lot of things online about sharpening knives. Now when I do my final sharpening on my knives, I tend to you know use very fine grits and go through and hand sand it all. But I've seen quite a lot of people showing the use of these. A lot of you probably know exactly what they are, some of you probably don't. All this is, is a bit of MDF, which I've roughly cut into a circle. You can see the kind of thickness on the MDF there. Um, hopefully you can see it all right. Let's have a look, see if the camera's working properly. So you can see, all I've done is, is roughly cut it out to shape on the bandsaw. I found the center, which I'm not gonna go through, I'm sure you can work that out yourselves. Um, and then all I've done, if you look at my little unit there, hopefully you can see it all right. I've made this just the same size as, as the threaded part. Let's bring you over and have a look. Let's make this a bit rough and ready, shall we? So what I've done, as you can see, I've made this hole the same size as the threaded part there. And then what I've done, I'm gonna glue this in. I'm gonna epoxy this nut in this side as well. And then when it screws on, obviously, the nut locks onto it as well and locks it in place. And I'll probably put another little washer on there, but I've just been experimenting with it. But let's show you where we are. I'll cut some of this out and I'll show you what it's capable of doing. Now I've been playing already. Now this, I don't know if you any of you remember my old ones, is, is one of the first knives I made. And I use this now as like a shop knife. I'm just beating the crap out of it. So you can see it's got marks all over the rosewood scales and it's got little dinks in the blade. And I'm doing this just really to test the steel I use to make sure that it's gonna stand up to the test of time. And you can see, you know, I mean, I really do abuse this thing. You can see it, it's a shame really, it's beautiful scales. But anyway, let's show you. Now, this, this is doing this on that wheel. I'll show you what I do on the wheel in a minute, but look, that's, I'm not touching it. That's just, that's just, I mean, you can see how scary sharp that is. It's just ridiculously sharp. And remember, this isn't a very fine blade. This is like a convex edge, and this is just something that I was playing with. So, you know, we'll put the wheel on, and I'll just show you quickly what we do with it. Now, obviously, there's a safety issue with this. You've got to make sure that the wheel's spinning the right way, and you're putting the blade on the right way, or else you're going to have big problems. As you can see, it's running true. The noise is coming off this bench, to be honest with you. It's so so noisy on this bench. But there we are. So that's the wheel on the true. Now, obviously, what I used to go from this to that is I saw online a guy using an old file. So all I've done is made one very sharp edge on there, one good edge, if that makes sense. And you literally just put your blade on there, and you can see it coming off, and you literally drag it across really slowly. Obviously, do not use your file up like that because it's going to catch, and especially something like that. Ideally, what you should do is use a rest. Um, look at wood, you know, wood turning lathes and stuff. I didn't, but that's what I would recommend. I don't recommend you doing it like this. And then, literally, you just go across like that until this rough shape, which I cut on the bouncer, obviously, turns into this. And then, literally, it's a case of getting your blade and then priming your wheel. Now I'm using a, a blue compound and then I use a white after to get a really fine finish. But you know, some people are telling me I've done it wrong, but you know, I've, this is what I do. I've already done the blue, so we just put some white on, as you can see. So just priming it up, just trying to get a stick. Obviously these are a wax um, bars, which have got very fine compounds in, if you didn't know. And you're just literally priming it. Now this is where you're going to be careful, obviously the wheel's spinning this way so the last thing you want to be doing is putting your knife like that because if it catches there, you know, we're talking, you know, it's not nice and then what you want to do is get your angle so when you come across with this blade you want to make sure that you always come across at the same angle so wherever it is you're pointing, you know, wherever you're doing it it's going to affect the angle of the blade I see some guys that will mark up on the side of it to give you a rough idea but you'll get a feel for it. And then literally, it's just dragging it across. Now, it doesn't sound very good, but trust me, it works. Now, 
and there you go let's, let's do the old classic thing I mean look it's just ridiculously sharp and you can see it look da -de 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 -de. you have no air left there in a minute so there you go and that's how you do that guys um, another thing I'm doing I'm, I'm moving on with um, my knives obviously you know I don't I don't sell these <laughs> this is just for me really and like, as I explained before sort of getting myself right in the head really but um I am going to be getting to that stage I think pretty soon I think my quality is getting to the stage where I, I should be able to sell these um this is one I've done I did a notch on this one just for something different but you can see I've got my little logo it's nearly finished off it's dirty because I've got crap on it now from messing around but you can see the kind of finishes and then obviously I'm going to be finishing these edges now using that MDF finishing wheel so they'll be brilliant so that's one of those that's the larger one which I haven't put the logo on yet I haven't quite finished doing it so that's going to be the barrel which is going to be the you know the more of a camp knife as such but I'm also doing different things as well um, you know I enjoy doing kitchen stuff so that this is a chopper that I'm making you can see you know, I'm just trying to finish it off now and get get the grind line straight but I've got some news about that so that's there um, and then this lot here, which you can probably see, is stuff I've been experimenting with. As you know, I've probably got a load, I've got a load of wood, and I've got my cactus juice and my stabilising kit. So all this is stabilised, but I thought we'd do some different things. So this is oak burl. I don't know where you can see that. Now, if I put this into the light, maybe, I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a look here. If I put this up into the light, maybe you can see. It's got blues and iridescence, but that's stunning. I'm really pleased with that. Then I've got these ones here. Now this is U, and again that's resin. Obviously I've already done the scales, so it's got G10 black liners from GFS. Thank you very much, guys. Use all my stuff from them. Um, so that's those, and that's going to be a matching pair. So I think that oh, it's going to just look lovely, isn't it? Don't you think? So that will be the top. The blade's going to sit in like this. I already pre-drilled one, but that's going to sit in kind of like that and then they'll be out there like that so that I think is just going to be stunning and like I say it's all stabilized um, I've done another set there and that's going to be beautiful I think but also I've got a little one there I've done and that's that's just oak that's like a, not a burl as such but it's knotted oak with red liners and I think that's going to be stunning just simple brass pins and then I've got obviously something a bit more funky now i think this is going to be for that chopper and you you, you better see the colors of this i've done one similar to this before it probably gives you a better idea of what it's going to look like so you know that's going to be pretty funky hopefully you've enjoyed this little update and i'll speak to you soon oh, my fingers see you later guys